All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Every time before I start the show, I always use the bail phone. It's something I do, and everybody's got their own own thing they do for their intros. So this works on a totally different band and than um, than a CB radio. CB is like a FH band, and I and on. You've got to follow the rules and, and guidelines and all that stuff. It works on an FH band, and it's somewhere around the 27,000 megahertz realm of something or another. And I, it, they're roughly around a, uh, a 4 watt, something like that. This one is an 8 watt ham radio, amateur radio. And then you have your uh, your uh, your UV5Rs and the Baofongs that are like a 5 watt like I said, this is a different band than we're we're talking about apples and bananas right now. So, and a lot of people want to get into CB radios and they don't they just don't want to hack up their vehicle or whatnot to install one. This is a good item for you. I actually had to dig out my box for this because I was I play on this thing all the time. It usually just sits up here and I I turn it on when I'm just hanging out reloading ammo. And uh, there's a lot of gossip in the neighborhood. It's pretty funny to listen to. Well, um, I, I sometimes chime in and just let it play and just kind of laugh because some of the goofy stuff being said over the radio. Uh, CB radios, man, you just got to love them. Uh, but I, I keep one in every one of my vehicles for emergency preparedness. That's one of the things that the wife and I do. And uh, we can communicate like Dukes of Hazard kind of thing. Well, um, there's that option, you know, that we have for all of our vehicles. Well, another thing that I've I've had is the uh, uh, the Midland 40s, and this is a Midland uh, 40, which is a uh, 40 channel CB radio, and you can use it. Say if you stop and uh, the or something you know comes up and you have to get out of the vehicle and communicate with the the driver or whatever you know and walk around or whatnot. You could use it for that purpose, or if you're backpacking, camping, whatnot. Another item for communication would be a CB radio, which there's a lot of folks out here where I'm at that still talk on CB radios, so it's pretty common. And uh, I've been into it for a very long time, but we'll pull you over here. We're going to unbox this thing and go through it. Luckily, I still had everything that goes to it, so we can actually play along with this. All right. I always feel like giving that little tidbit of information before I get to talking about. Let me move this over here. You all right? Is that a good spot for you right there? Okay. Before I get too far into this, take my jacket off. It's freaking starting to burn up in here. It was cold. I live in a house from the 40s. You know, it gets drafty and then it gets really hot. All right. So from the box, I, I can't believe I still had this box, but uh, I... I'm lucky I keep boxes to everything and I kept all the stuff for it so I can actually show this. I, I never even thought to do this. So uh, the Midland 40, uh, this is a 40 channel handheld CB radio, automatic noise control. Well, we can get into that in a minute. Compact design. You can take it anywhere. Uh, ideal for any outdoor activity. And uh, let's see. They also suggest this for emergency preparedness. They've got that on there. There's words on the back of here if you know how to read. And uh, uh, built to take it. I guess it can take it, right? You can drop it and throw it and kick it. And uh, it has a high-low. Basically, you can drop it down to low if you want to save battery. Uh, and you can shoot it up to high. You want to really pick people up. Anyways. I was lucky I still kept all this crap. I figured I would show you what it looked like. All right, this is the, uh, the 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 transceiver for the most part. It's just pretty bare bones, basic stuff. You've got a speaker outlet, so you can hook up a um, a loudspeaker if you wanted to, and you could actually like a PA system. You can actually plug in a uh, PA system into this, and it will operate the PA system. Um, you can. Uh, it comes with. I think it's still. A, I don't use it, but. I'm sure it's still in here. There we go. Uh, I didn't need any of the redneck stickers. You know, I didn't want to redneck it up. I don't need those stickers all over my truck or anything. So, uh, it's it's not that big of a deal. But you have this uh, this adapter here. If you're into emergency preparedness, you should definitely get one of these. I don't know why I never brought this up, but 
Uh, you plug this guy in here and you plug that into your cigarette lighter and bam, and it, uh, you don't need batteries. Um, the crazy thing about this thing is, uh, uh, I was, I was, uh, considering putting this in one of my bug out bags. Uh, I'm not sure. I might actually do that with the boss, put something like this kit in there, but rechargeable batteries in here. I just run rechargeable batteries, but it takes, uh, flipping <laughs> eight batteries or yeah it was eight by batteries that's right it takes quite a few batteries let's just say that well, i'll throw that out there but all double a uh, but you've got your high and your low right here you can turn it up to high or low whichever one you want i've got it on high right now uh channel up and down there's your uh push to talk and uh you can um tell if you're getting a signal or not there's your swelch there's your vi volume and you have a meaty, beefy, gigantic war belt style clip back here. It's the long one, not the short one. But uh, let's fire this thing up. It, look, it says it's built. It says it right there. It's fine, people. You saw me drop it. It's built to take it. Don't worry about it. All right. Put your dumb antenna on. You, I'm forewarning. You never know what you're going to hear. Okay, this is my neighborhood. Let me let me get the zoom. Make sure that zoom. There we go. I have no idea what they're saying. I thought it was aliens at first. You know, several times I've tried to listen, and. uh Let's see. I can tune them out if I want to go further away. But... Anyways, this is the neighborhood, the uh, neighborhood chat channel. Let me go up. See what else I can pick up here. Bring that in. There's one of your emergency channels. If it had a scan, I would do that, but it doesn't. Usually 20 or 19 was another one that was an emergency channel. What have we got here? something but it's really it's too far away look like I'm just getting this one well I had somebody on here earlier they were basically testing radios in the neighborhood and sometimes I get on here and I'll I'll just say uh you know, we were, we were talking about the weather earlier today, and uh, it's supposed to start getting cold and things like that. And uh, we were talking about how uh, a lot of people have gotten into CB radios and are keeping them in their trucks and, and starting to carry them around with them because the weather is going to get really bad. And uh, in the event something happens, they've got, they've got a backup for communications at their home and things like that. People are installing these things in their house and getting stuff like this or, or picking up scanners and stuff like that. Can you understand this? I don't know. Before they start talking about top secret government agencies. Alright. That's my comedy. That's all I got. I thought I was being funny. Whatever. But um, I keep one of these things with me pretty much uh, all the time. I'm I'm always goofing off with little go-go gadgets like this. And this is really old school. Just so you know. It's nothing new to the world or anything. 
<laughs> this is very, very old school. And yes, look how clunky and huge it is. It's like one of those old self bag cell phones. <laughs> but uh, I thought this would be fun to share with you guys. I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I still had the box and everything to it. But uh, I mean, uh, you know, when these, when these came out, man, they were expensive. But now, I mean, you can get them, uh, uh, you can get them for like 20, 30 bucks. It's, it's pretty hard to believe, but it's, it's a piece of equipment that I tell you what, if you put one of these in an ammo can and if it was grid down type of EMP type scenario and you had one of these bad boys, you, you might actually have someone to talk to. I'm just saying, you know, cause there's quite a few CB radios out there. So you would be able to talk to somebody and, um, just, you know, learning the etiquette for communicating on a radio is, is very important. You know, some of these uh, people that are that are talking on here, you can see one guy is actually being a professional. I know him. He's like, um, I've got another Marine that lives uh, qu uh, quite a few clicks to the left of me. And uh, he's got a um, amateur radio uh, station, a, a giant station that he's got set up pretty much. Um, uh, he's There's another there's another cat in, in the other direction. So I'm, I'm like in the middle of a bunch of dudes that used to be like prior service and radio operators and things like that. So they play around with this stuff all the time. Really cool folks. But, uh, they use a lot of, uh, they, they use their manners when they're on the radio and, and other people are just, they're using it like it's their cell phone, you know, just chatting away. But, you know, other people are still taking it very seriously when they're on the radio. So, but there you go. I figured this might help you out. If you're looking for one of these things, I, I think it'd be a great idea. If you, for me, I um, since I do have a CB radio, in the event that I get into a car that doesn't have a CB radio for whatever reason, I do have this. I could just plug it in and uh, and and run this as my CB radio when I'm going down the road in in a Honda Civic or a Honda Odyssey or whatever. I don't know, but uh, if you're a minivan guy, but if if you needed to, you could run this instead of hacking up your vehicle, and you could just keep chunking it in your bag everywhere you go. Uh, uh, like I said before, um, an, an office bag, an office SHTF bag, where you could have something like this inside your office kit, your job kit, you know, your work workplace preparedness. This would be another cool item to have. You can communicate with the outside world if for some reason cell phone towers go down or whatnot. You've still got some means of communication. And uh, this isn't like a bail phone. Like a bail phone, you literally have to be like right in front of the person. Um, you can't have any obstructions at all using a bail phone, a ham radio. When you're using a ham radio, it literally you have to be uh, on a straight plane connected to that other person that's on the same straight plane. You can't like, uh, you know, be down in a valley in a, in a mountain, mountain terrain area and try and communicate up to someone. It's just not going to happen. Whereas something like this, it'll still call out no matter where you are. So, uh, that's why I've always had one. I always play around with these things. That's why every one of my vehicles has CB radios. It's very important. Don't go too far down the rabbit hole with ham radios. And, um, I, it is a fun hobby to get into, but unless you're planning on, uh, getting some major heavy duty equipment, the, the little radios are just not the same. They're really not the same. I mean, you're lucky, you know, um, for, the amount of miles, I mean, for this one here, it's, it's like, uh, I mean, range is quite a far away, far distance. I mean, like, um, where was I at? I think, I think I've, I've clocked one, it almost like 30 miles or so that I was co conversating with people. And I think it goes a little bit further, like 50 miles or so. So, uh, I can communicate with people pretty far off versus this thing here. And you're lucky if you're going to conversate with somebody that far away. It's just, you'd have to, you'd have to bounce off some towers or something. I don't know, uh, play some MacGyver stuff in order to make that happen. But it's just something to keep in mind. I mean, the bail phones are cool and all, and you know, there's so many other radios like it, but, uh, a good backup plan for most of you out there would be the old school. Just, you know, a CB radio, something like this would definitely help you out in preparedness. Uh, to keep in your truck, your your vehicle, and the snowstorms and stuff like that. At least you've got something else, you know what I mean? As a backup, you know, you can conversate with a truck driver or something. Maybe that truck driver has a cell phone and can call 911 for you. I don't know. 
uh, whatever the case is. But there you go. I figured I'd share that with you. And um, uh, and you can pick up a lot of interesting stuff with the bail phone, but uh, part of it's just good to have. It is good to have both. So I figured I would share that with you guys today. You know you want one. <laughs> They're selling radios. Two and a half. Did he just say $250? I'm a, I'll take it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll buy two of them. You could sit here and listen to this all day, couldn't you? If you're still here, you know you would. <laughs> oh, the weird stuff that B.A. does in his home. All right. I hope it helps. I hope you uh, found another little item there that you can get for yourself. It is it is a cool item, and it's just for those of you out there that, that wouldn't want to install a CB radio in your vehicle and have a giant whip antenna or whatever it is. So there you go. There's another option for you. Well, you're watching SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns and <sighs> angry care bears spitting flames. Have a great day. I love you. God bless.